Hi everybody, this is Josh with Josh Wright Piano TV. Today I'm going to um, go into a concept that will be most useful for probably organists or music majors um, who are studying different modes. Um, in uh, What is a mode? A mode is just a particular, um, it, can, it can actually mean several things, so I'm not going to give it a specific definition. But basically today, if you hear this, you'd say, okay, we're in a major mode. And if you hear, you'd say, we're in a minor mode. Okay, well, major and minor scales developed out of um, lots of different uh, ancient modes. And then... Uh, going back to some Greek things, and then also to Western church music. And today, the, the, the Western church modes are what we're going to explore, namely Ionian, Dorian, Phrygian, Lydian, Mixolydian, Aeolian, and Locrian. Um, all seven of those modes have a tonic key, a tonic just meaning the first scale degree. A scale degree being, like in C major, a scale degree one, scale degree two, scale degree three, four, five, six, seven, and then you're back to one. Okay, so you can have a scale starting from on C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Avoid starting on the flats because we're just stepping up through these uh, different notes. Okay, first of all, I need to explain one thing. Uh, the thing that I need to explain is the difference between a whole step and a half step. Um, a whole step is basically one note, and then you skip the next note, and you go to the, the following note. So C to D is a whole step. But don't be confused, because um, E up to F sharp is also a whole step. So it's not always just white to white or black to black. It can be white to black or black to white. B flat to C is a whole step. A to B is a whole step, okay? A half step is just going to the very next note. So C to C sharp, C sharp to D, D to E flat, um, and so on. Okay, so now let's. Uh, now that we have that, I'm gonna dive right into the, the church modes because all of you can find online uh, on numerous websites where the major and minor scales are and you can see the, the half step and whole step sequences that they present. But today, I've always been confused about church modes. Not that I couldn't figure them out, but I always used to think, okay, a Dorian scale is, is D to D, and I'm gonna explain this in a minute. And then someone would say, play me a Dorian scale starting on G. And I would think, oh no, uh, half step, whole step, what, what do I do? Um, I'm gonna explain a very easy way that my professor recently taught me that organizes them very, in a, in a very simple way. So stay tuned and I hope you enjoy this next part. Okay. So, let's name all of those again. The first one is Ionian. Okay, I'll try and write this fairly big. Ionian. This scale has a sequence of notes that follows C to C. So, an Ionian scale is basically just a major scale. And let me go ahead and play that. of your major scales here, okay, are going to be labeled Ionian. These are old church modes. Dorian is the next one. Now, this kind of sounds like a minor scale, but it has an altered tone. D to D. Okay, so instead of this, which would be our natural minor scale, we're just going to go D to D just all on the white keys. By the way, all of these modes I'm going to write are on the white keys in their initial forms that I'm gonna teach you, and then I'm gonna teach you how to do them in different keys, okay? So this is a Dorian scale, D to D. It sounds very folk-like. Okay, so it doesn't have that B flat in there. Wow, okay. Um, let's move on to Phrygian. That follows the model of E to E. Lydian is F to F. Mixolydian is G to G. And I'm writing this out just in case any of you want to copy this down um, and just keep it uh, to have as a reference tool at the piano. Um, 
again, this is really helpful if you're being tested on this stuff or just if you want to experiment improvising in different modes. Um, that's, a, that's an interesting thing to do. Aeolian is A to A. And then Locrian, which I'm going to kind of ignore today because it's um, uh, on this next part because it, it has kind of a strange quality. That's B to B. And then we'd be back C to C because we've got C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and then we'd be back to C. Okay, so many of you know that if you're um, in music school or you just have studied this stuff. But I want to tell you how to organize these. So if someone says play, like I said earlier, a Dorian scale, uh, starting on G that you don't panic or if they say play a Lydian scale starting on F sharp or play a mixolydian scale starting on A flat or B or whatever that you could do it right off the bat okay I basically want to divide these modes and this is just what I was taught by my professor into major modes modes based on a major triad as the tonic um, and I'll explain what that means. And then minor modes, okay? Modes out of these scales that are basically a minor scale uh, with a little bit of alteration. Again, you're not thinking, okay, I've gotta go half step, whole step, half step, whatever, throughout all these if, if your teacher asks you play a Lydian scale starting on D. You're just gonna think, oh, what's that Lydian scale? It is, okay, and I'm gonna explain this. So the major, um, that we already went over, a major scale is an Ionian scale, and then a, a natural minor scale is Aeolian. Okay, so this is just a major scale right there, and then the Aeolian is a natural minor scale. Natural, I'm just going to abbreviate that, minor. Okay, um, the other two uh, modes that are very similar to major scales are Lydian scales and Mixolydian scales. Again, these are super similar to Ionian, just, just a slight difference. In Lydian, you raise the fourth scale degree. So play an F to F, or just play an F major scale. Okay, now raise the fourth scale degree. Okay, and you have a Lydian scale, a Mixolydian. The best, uh, the thing you do on this is you just play a major scale, but you lower the seventh scale degree. Again, scale degrees are based on where you start. So if you start on a D, uh, your seventh scale degree would be a C. If you start on a G, which is which is what we did up here in Mixolydian, is G to G. Play a major scale to start with. Now lower the seventh, and sure enough, we have a Mixolydian scale, okay? Um, now, the other ones that are based on minor modes are Dorian. Dorian is a minor scale with a raised sixth. Okay, um, so rather than playing which is a minor scale, natural minor scale. Raise that sixth. Okay, um, and then right here, the next one is Phrygian. And for Phrygian, we are going to lower the second. Okay, so play a natural E minor scale. Lower the second. And then Locrian, the reason I'm telling you Ionian, Lydian, and Mixolydian are all based off of major scales is because if you play a, if you play a triad, based on, a triad is just one, three, five, just like a C major chord. If you play a triad based on the root of each of these, it's a major um, triad. So play a, play a triad based off of an F Lydian scale. It's a major scale. Mixolydian would be here, Dorian, Phrygian, Aeolian, those are all based off of minor, these are based off of major. Locrian is kind of weird because it has a diminished triad. That's a Locrian scale, 
and that's the diminished triad. So we're going to kind of ignore that one for right now, okay? Um, you could you could just sit and figure out the same way I did here on how to define a Locrian scale. Now let's put this to the test, okay? So your teacher says play a G Lydian scale, a Lydian scale starting on G, okay? I would start with G major. Okay, now I'm going to raise the fourth. Okay, try a mixolydian scale uh, starting on an A. Okay, we'll start out with basic ones. Okay, so play an A major scale. Okay, now lower the seventh. And you've got mixolydian right there, starting on an A. See how easy that is? Rather than thinking, okay, mixolydian goes whole step, whole step, half step, and, and you can't, like, at least I can't think of all those half steps and whole steps. I just like to base them off of these. Let's try a Dorian scale starting on uh, C sharp, okay? So let's play a C sharp minor scale. Okay, gotta get that natural minor. I'm so used to playing harmonic minors. Okay, um, now Dorian, I'm gonna raise the sixth. Irish music a lot. Uh, that, that feel. And then let's play a Phrygian scale. St Aeolian's easy because you just have to find a natural minor scale. So if someone says play an Aeolian starting on B, you don't have to panic. You just think, what's a natural minor? You just think of the key signature of B minor and then play it. Okay. But Phrygian right here, let's play a Phrygian starting on um, B flat. Okay. So I'm going to play a B flat minor scale. <laughs> to playing those harmonics, that can be a little weird. Okay, play a natural minor scale. Okay, now I'm gonna lower the second. Okay, that gives everybody a window into success at quickly learning those modes. So if you're being tested on them or if you're just interested in improvising or composing in those different modes, that, that gives you a really easy organization to work off of. I hope this video has been helpful for each of you uh, in learning an easier way to do modes. I know when my teacher taught me this, it really opened my eyes to know and to feel more confident about these modes. If any of you have questions, email me. Um, and also, if you would like uh, private online lessons, you can also email me. My email address is josh at joshwrightpiano.com. Thanks so much for joining me today.